because we all need these life hacks like these are so helpful when it comes to back to school and I for sure I'm going to use these If you are looking for some lights like these that I'm using right now then I will have the link down below to Amazon where you can get them for super inexpensive like $50 maybe and this set is amazing like, I'll link my video up here that explains all that what you get in it without further ado let's get into the video you got some <laughs> is when you like to chew gum but you know how you run out of gum like all the time like that used to be me until I used this life hack basically what you can do is you rip one piece in half and you can use it at the beginning of the day or at lunch or at the end of the day whatever this way you're getting the use of the gum and you're getting your breath freshened but you're not wasting all the gum Oh my gosh, my breath. It's disgusting. I don't want to waste this whole piece for one day. What the heck? I'm just gonna cut it in half. And I'll just use one piece now and the other piece later. Next one is to crimp your hair for a quick and easy look. All you do is you use a crimper, like just pretty like it's like a waver basically not like an actual like crimper from the 80s my hair is long and thick so this only takes like maybe five minutes like to just get a wave in it it's such a quick and easy look that looks so good i'm just gonna crimp my hair because it's super easy and quick so i'll get off to school in like five minutes <laughs> Next one is to use apps for when you're struggling in school and I don't mean like this to cheat or anything because I would not recommend cheating because you're not going to understand like the course and you're not going to understand what you're like supposed to be learning and then when it comes to the test you're going to fail so do not cheat. I'm not telling you to cheat. Some apps are Photo App, Socratic, Spanish Dictionary, Slater, and then some sites are WordHippo.com and Grammarly. So basically PhotoMath is where you take a photo of your math and then it'll just like calculate it for you and that one's super easy but that one's better for like algebra or something with like numbers. Not good for geometry so I didn't really use it this year because I was in honors geometry and I Socratic and this one is great because you can use this in honestly any class and it'll find you the answers what You'll do is you'll take a picture and then you'll like crop what you want like the answer for and then it'll search all these different sites for the best answer and I use this in like English when I needed to find answers I, used it, I think even in my like computers class and maybe some math Dictionary is a great one for Spanish and I love this one because it's not Google Translate at all. Everyone knows Google Translate sucks, yet they still use it, which makes no sense to me. If you're typing like an essay or a paragraph in Spanish, it has letters with the accents. So you can just write what you want on Spanish Dictionary and then use like all the letters or whatever that you need. Copy and paste it onto like your Word document. Slater is a great one because if you have a specific textbook and you're getting specific textbook answers, like you're doing the work in from the book, then great because you can find your book. Word Hippo is great for when you want to find a word and you want to find the opposite of it or the meaning of it or it's using it in a sentence. So this is great for especially English class, which is great for actually any class that you like type in or you have to like make an essay or something. One you can put on your laptop like on the browser so that whenever you're typing you'll type perfectly and it just like shows like when you made an error and it like corrects it for you. Life hack I actually used my first year, like my freshman year, and I'm going to still be using it my sophomore year. But basically, it's to screenshot your schedule and then use it as your lock screen. And I think I use it as my home screen. Then you don't have to carry around a paper everywhere and like try to find your classes. You can just look on your phone and it's right there. Why do you have that as your home screen? Like, who are you? And I was like, I want to know where my classes are. Like. <laughs> If you are using a computer and you maybe lost a research site or something like you were making a ton of research and then you lost it like oh 
my gosh, that would be the worst. This life hack will save you, so what you can do is um, press Control, Shift, and plus the T, like the T button. T as in tiger. And then it'll reopen that tab. Oh my gosh, I literally just deleted the tab I needed. Oh wait, I could do control shift T. There we go. Okay. The next one is pretty simple and like, obviously I feel like people have told you this before, but to color code your classes or color code your notebooks because when you're trying to like pull out all your stuff from your backpack, you don't wanna like pull out the wrong class. If you don't go to your locker like me, then you're probably gonna have like all your books in your backpack. So color code the top of it so that you're able to find which one is which and it's just easy and ready to go for class. You can also color code your classes. So if you're taking notes, you can color code in a certain color or just have certain colored binders that are for that class so that it's way easier to find things and you're just more organized. This next one is for when you want to study or you want someone to like test you or quiz you. You can use an old DVD case and you just take like the little like paper part out and then you just use a whiteboard marker and you can just use it as a whiteboard and it's super easy because you don't like need an actual whiteboard. Use that and you're good to go, you're gonna get A pluses, holla. Next life hack is for when you're trying to get out the door quickly but still like look cute. What you do is you wear jeans or some like shorts or whatever and then you put a plain shirt like as your top, you know? And then you just wear like a cute necklace and I literally do this like every single day when it comes to school because it's so easy, you just throw some jeans on, throw a shirt on, like a plain t-shirt and then like a necklace. How easy is that? That is so easy. And I literally only wear bralettes, so I'll just like wear a bralette if you can't see, and it'll make it even cuter. And it's just such an easy idea, but your outfits can look so cute every single day, and they can all look different, because you can add like a jacket or whatever, but you can just look so cute with these little like plain t-shirts. You have a wrinkled shirt and not an iron because I do too. I do not have an iron in my house. I don't know where one is. I don't even think the stores sell them anymore. Like, do they? Because I, I don't know. What you can do is you can take your wrinkled shirt because like me, I usually have like these few wrinkled shirts and they, like you'll fold them up and then they will just wrinkle even after you've washed them. Like, they're so annoying. You can take the wrinkled shirt and you can put it in the dryer with an ice cube and it will come out with no wrinkles and I have for sure tried this and I love it so much. And if you don't like an ice cube working or you don't think it's going to work or you don't like it or whatever, then you can use a wet sock. So if you have like a wet sock, which I mean I feel like I don't get why you'd wet a sock for it or like if you have a wet sock like handy. Either one will work and you just dry them in there for like maybe 10 minutes or something and then you're good to go. In case you didn't want to do either of those, I do have a life hacks video that I made a while ago, like a year ago, you know. I do show you how to get wrinkles out of a shirt with a straightener, so there's another one if you have wrinkled shirts. I got you. Oh my gosh, I cannot wear this to the first day of school. Look how wrinkly it is, what the heck? I literally put it in my dresser in my closet and it still gets wrinkly. I have an idea. Finally, the last one is when you're in class and you need to find an answer, you need to double check or something, but no cheating, like I said. Or maybe your mom texts you or something. You can use the back of the calculator and you can put your like phone in it. It'll look like you're using a calculator. Don't feel like it's gonna work in your English class or like another class. <laughs> but for sure it should work in your math class and it's just a great hack. But don't stay on your phone and like get distracted. Like do your work but like maybe if you need to slack a little and your teacher doesn't let you have your phone, just use this life hack and you'll be good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video I really really hope you enjoyed because I love making videos and if you like watching videos and I'm going to make more and if you don't like watching videos or my videos then I'm still gonna make more 
I hope these life hacks helped you in some way, shape, or form because back to school is coming. And dude, before I was filming this video, I had the most like fall, like I don't even know what you call them, but I was so ready for fall. And a big thumbs up because it helps me, it helps you. Help me help you, dun, dun, girl, what you trying to do? Cause I ain't got a clue, no I ain't no Scooby. It would be great if you could just thumbs up this video because it would really, really help me. Make sure to follow all my links down below where you can stalk me or see my social media or whatever. So I will see you next time. Bye. Cause I ain't got a clue. No, I ain't no Scooby-Doo.